They're trying to bounce back from a defeat down in Eugene. Players not named Clifford or De Silva only went 9 for 40 shooting in that one. Simpson. Now De Silva threads the needle to Hadley. And a free throw to follow. So many new players out on the floor. Short clock here as we resume. Hope trying to turn the corner on Luke O'Brien. Oh, a tough hit from the baseline. Simpson navigates in transition. Able to get all the way home and walk. This CU team on the perimeter. Because even against his own, CU will drive. But Beckway wipes it away. Trying to get in Beckway into ball screens high to create a little bit more downhill attacks. Fourth rebound for De Silva. A Beckway with another denial. Gets a great layup look. Pope off the shot fake. Feeds Retai. Get in there. There it is. Ready to switch this ball screen against his own. Abekwe's been huge. Hadley defending. Taylor extra pass to Kano. One more to Pope. Pull up two. Big hit. For Hoops for OSU coming out of the half. They've got their largest lead. Hadley has the answer. The shot pick. Now with the short clock. Bilodeau with five. Bilodeau got to go. The miss. Now Taylor on the breakouts. Oh, the recovery from Clifford. It's only one hoop in the first half. Now he's got seven points. We're tied again. Lovering. Oh, put it on a poster. Hope's got nowhere to go. Has to hoist. Separation. Oh, again. Oh, Pope bails him out. Pope, heat check. Fills it. Bang. Glenn Taylor Jr., a strong take. Back up again. Now Pope with the short clock. Through the legs. Over Clifford. Look out! Chance to really get some things done this season. Clifford from the foul line. Sweet shot. Good answer to Silva. O'Brien skips to De Silva. Got the Silva slides to the corner, gets the wide open three. Taylor back with a full head of steam by not scoring there or yeah, running clock. Should have pulled it out, ran some clock. You're doing great shape. Instead, you give the Silva a chance. A backway turns it away. Tough road trip for Colorado. The Silva carried him as far as he could, but it's Wayne Tinkle's group growing up in a home win over Colorado to get to three and eight in lead.